Well, the standard of care in indolent lymphomas at the advanced stages is chemoimmunotherapy. So the combination of chemotherapy plus an antibody, usually an anti-CD20 antibody, which is then followed by a maintenance phase of two years of antibody treatment. That's the standard of care, and we achieve remissions in approximately 90 to 95 percent of patients. And those remissions are really long-lasting. We are talking about six, seven, eight years. Uh, but this is not the end. Particularly in indolent lymphomas, we have now a real plethora of new agents which have, re, which have um, given already promising results in clinical phase one and two studies, and I think which are right now at the step of entering first-line treatment. The new agents are agents which interfere usually with the signaling pathways in lymphoma cells, particularly the B-cell receptor pathway like BTK inhibitors like ibrutinib or PI3 kinase inhibitors like ililalizib. But on the other hand, we have also drugs which interfere with apoptosis, like BCL2 inhibitors, for example. These are the most advanced new agents right now, but there are more uh, on the horizon also agents modulating the response of the immune system, the PD-1 and PD-L1 inhibitors, for example. Um, all of those agents are currently in phase two, and we are about, I think, to see some of those agents entering phase three to explore them in comparison to standard therapies. Those agents are mostly not given alone, but in combination with an anti-CD20 antibody. These are the most uh, applied combinations, and I think that makes a lot of sense, because we have seen that anti-CD20 has a high activity, and the mechanism of action of anti-CD20 antibodies is different from the B-cell signaling uh, pathway inhibitors, for example. Well, I think what we can anticipate for next ASH or so would be results of phase two studies exploring new anti-CD20 antibodies with BTK or PR3 kinase inhibitors or BCR2 inhibitors. Well, I think what is important about all of those regimens is that they are so-called chemotherapy-free, which means they all avoid the toxicities of conventional chemotherapy. I mean, they have, of course, their own um, side effects, but as compared to conventional chemotherapy, they are much safer, uh, have um, less side effects than conventional chemotherapy. So what we are talking about is the era of, well, non-chemotherapeutic approaches in indolent lymphomas. And the goal would be to, uh, to achieve at least similar results as we achieve them right now with our job, um, and hopefully to achieve even better results because these agents can be applied over a longer period of time, and hopefully we can control the disease for a longer period as well.